Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to, so let's begin. We're following breaking news this morning. One killed, one seriously injured in truck crash in Wolfboro. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Sharice LeClaire. In today's world, building a stronger community can make a difference. At Catholic Medical Center, we believe if you give your heart to your country, you've earned health care that understands you. Straight to breaking news tonight. One person is dead after a crash in Wolfboro. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tom Griffith. Wolfboro police say that the driver of a truck was airlifted from the scene with very serious injuries and a passenger was killed. WMUR Sharice LeClaire just spoke to police. And Sharice, what are we learning tonight? Well, Tom, right now, the police chief says he believes that a dump truck's front right tire blew out, causing this deadly and tragic turn of events here tonight. Now, authorities believe when the tire blew out, that truck lost control, slammed into a large pine tree, and then that tree fell over, rolling over the truck as well and blocking the road. The passenger, as you mentioned, died here on the scene. The driver was med flighted to Maine Medical Center with serious injuries. The crash closing this portion of Route 28 since before 6 o'clock tonight. The vehicle went into a hard right turn and hit the tree, uh, collapsed the tree, and, and then uh, the force of the, of the, the impact uh, caused the vehicle to roll onto its right side. Now, the EPA is also here on scene because a lot of the diesel fuel had spilled out onto the roadway, so they're working on cleaning that up. The chief says right now they will not be identifying the victims involved in this crash as they're still notifying family members. Live here in Wolfboro, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News Now. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Officers injured after house explodes during barricaded person situation. A barn behind a house in Connecticut exploded Wednesday night while police and a SWAT team were negotiating with a man who had taken his wife and family hostage, leaving at least six officers injured, officials said. North Haven First Selectman Michael said that the officers were taken to a hospital, but that none had suffered life-threatening injuries in the explosion at a barn at the home around 8.30 p.m. He said that the officers suffered cuts, amber, and bruises. They were taken to Yale New Haven Hospital, but their ex conditions and that of the suspect and his family wasn't immediately known. Residents near the home said on the police department's Facebook page that they heard the explosion and felt their own homes shake around 8.30 p.m. Additional off Police officers rushed to the scene as the fire raged and sound of small explosions also were heard. Police did not immediately release any details about why they were there, but issued road closures and asked that people to avoid the area. 
Firefighters work to get the blaze under control more than an hour later. State police said they were assisting New Haven police with the investigation. New Haven is located just outside of New Haven, home of Yale University. It's 27 miles south of Hartford, Connecticut's capital. Maine legislature overrides veto of retail marijuana sales bill. The legislature overrode Governor Paul LePage's veto of a bill governing the retail sale of marijuana in Maine. The House voted to override the veto Wednesday morning, and the Senate overrode the veto Wednesday afternoon. The governor argued that he can't violate federal law and that adults will flock to Maine's medical marijuana program. The bill eliminates marijuana social clubs, reduces the number of plants that people can have, and prohibits sales near schools. Under the bill, Maine could allow retail pot sales to adults as early as next year. The voter approved law created a 10% sales tax on retail marijuana. The bill would require growing facilities to pay an exist tax of 335 per pound of mature marijuana plants and other fees. Forget passive interesting. Put your money into the likes of avocados, says asset manager. Border global economic expensive is making asset expensive, so forget investing passively an investment manager told CNBC on Thursday. Instead, he recommended considering niche growth areas like avocados. Trump reimbursed Cohen for 130k payment to Stormy Daniels. Giuliani. Let's take a listen to the video from ABC News. Force loves snacking. That's why he uses the Chase Mobile app to pay practically anyone at any bank. Michael Cohen has filed the paperwork to plead the Fifth Amendment. But remember what his client, the one we're talking about, mm -hmm. said on the campaign trail about people who take the Fifth? Take a look. Like you see on the mob, right? You see the mob takes the Fifth. If you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? Well, here's the, here's, well, but here's the other part. You know, Kellyanne Conway said in 2016, most honest people I know are not under FBI investigation. I don't think you can say that anymore. <laughs> and Sarah Huckabee Sanders said in 2016, when you're attacking FBI agents because you're under criminal investigation, you're losing. So there's a lot, you know, people shift the way they have to shift, I guess, to keep a gig. But, I mean, I'm curious as to whether his supporters... 
whether this also doesn't matter to Well, I wanted to ask one legal question for Sonny. When I saw that he pleaded the fifth, there is a legal reason why in a civil case sure. he would plead the fifth mm -hmm. to not incriminate himself in the bigger case where they've the criminal, raided his office. The criminal right. case. So the, any lawyer would probably advise him not to. I, I, I think that's absolutely right. I mean, you hear it on TV all the time, right? Anything that you say can and will be held against you in a court of mm -hmm. law. And yeah. so if he testifies in the civil case, anything he says can and will be held against him in, in the criminal, criminal trial. Which is so it's, it's perfectly appropriate for him to plead the fifth. It's his constitutional right. But to Whoopi's no, sort of setup, set up, it, if, well, if you don't have anything to right. hide, well, but, but, but again, or to incriminate yourself, you why know, are you pleading? This is what they're saying. This is what his own people said yeah. about the fifth. Yeah. You know, and so I wonder, is it that they don't know what why people plead the fifth, or they have no idea. I mean, I don't understand. Well, it was like a big circle. It's like a big. It's like a big. It's a big. Hoop pile. It's like a big. You know, it just. I, I, I don't get it. But one it's person. A, it's a reality show. That's what it is. I, I guess so. Yeah, I guess some so. criminal right. prosecution thrown a few, in. Right. That makes it exciting. I, think, I watched it. Part of the problem, though, is he's trying to belittle his relationship with Michael Cohen. And Michael Cohen said to Vanity Fair, I'm the guy who would take a bullet for the president. I'd never walk away. Uh, Donald Trump attended Cohen's children's bar and bat mitzvahs. You're not attending the bar and bat mitzvahs of your friend's children if you're not close friends. So I think the narrative that you're that he's somehow not close with the Trumps mm -hmm. is something they should really let go of yeah. immediately. And that Trump isn't close to him. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. Just, that's hard a, to say. I have so many but lawyers. Supporters yeah. famously, he famously said about his supporters that mm -hmm. he could take a bullet on Fifth Avenue and they would still follow him. So I don't even see that anything's going to happen. No, he yes. said he could he could actually shoot, shoot somebody. Shoot somebody. Yeah, 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 he right. can, yeah. They, that was yeah, the, the yeah, other yeah, one. Yeah. He yeah. could shoot somebody and they yeah. would still follow him. Yeah. And I think that that's true. And that it goes with the Republican Party. Don't you think body. people care, mm -hmm. though, now? At least now that he's sort of flip flopping so much about the Stormy Daniels and he, and he, he's the subject of an FBI investigation and I his still think until they have the big like what Megan said you know we keep talking no about cares. not we but the discourse in general is always about one more little thing until there's the big like this is out here until I the indictment comes yeah. down I I think I, I think these I little steps are aren't gonna go away from him okay and there you go on that video and that report. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you later on today for another newscast. And I'll have a news report in a little bit. Goodbye, everyone.